last lap. <laughs> Those got so bad, I literally had to speed walk home. Something that I've struggled with since losing my mom is like talking to her or feeling close to her. Um, I've really found, because running was mine and her thing. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Malia Janelle. I'm currently waiting to go on a run this morning. Normally I go a lot e earlier, but I signed myself up for a half marathon and I am really excited to do it, honestly. I got this training app. Um, it's called Runna and it like, I don't know. I set myself as a beginner, even though I have a lot of experience of, with running. I haven't ran in quite some time. So I kind of just set myself as a beginner. I had it make me a plan and it looks super doable. And like, I just am really excited to do something hard for myself that will be good for me. So yeah, I signed up for the Haunted Half. It's the one that me and my mom used to run. So I think it will be very therapeutic for me and good for me to kind of just run. And I don't know, I'm excited to run it and I'm excited just to get back in shape. And this app has just made it seem so manageable and so doable. So and my husband decided, agreed to run with me in the mornings. Normally we run at 5.30 because he leaves for work at 6.30. So normally we'll wake up at 5.30 and we'll go out and do runs. He's currently doing a couch to 5K just because he doesn't have much experience with running. He used to play football, but not, he didn't do any sort of endurance running. So that's what he is working on. And he was like, I'll just run with you. I was like, let's start with this just so that you don't burn out and that you actually enjoy it. And he's been enjoying it a lot. Um, I don't know, with my competitive brain, because I've ran for most of my life, it's like, I always just jump in so hard, and I just burn myself out, or it's just super hard, and I don't enjoy it, because I'm going too fast, but I've learned the importance of slowing down, and like, one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is Natasha Ocean, I think, Natasha something, she's a dietitian and an exercise science, um, professional, she's like, worked with a lot of companies and she's worked with the Olympics and stuff I believe. Anyway, she did this whole video about like why running is hard and like why you sh why you can run and she was talking about the importance of staying in zone one um, and that's like an easy conversational pace and like in my brain I'm like no but like after hearing all the studies behind it it makes so much sense like you're just comfortable, you're easy and the longer you stay in that pace and the more often you do it the faster that pace will naturally become. And that's your easy, easy pace. So I don't know. It's really helped shift my mindset to where I'm purposely running slow so that I can just ease into this, this running. And it's been super good. It's kept me excited and I have interval trainings. I have tempo runs and it's just, it's been exciting and fresh and something that I'm really looking forward to. So normally my husband will wear my Samsung watch because I have a Garmin, but I want to, tr I'm doing a tempo run today and I want to track my zones so i'm wearing this and then i'll wear my garmin which will track my mileage because this is not very accurate but um yeah i'm excited the paces i'm supposed to be hitting for my temple tempo run are very slow for me so i'm not too intimidated i just want to try and see how comfortable this is so in the app i'm asked i'm told to run 0 0.60 miles so that's like just over half a mile and I'm doing that three times, and the first one's going to be at a 10.50 pace, I believe. The second one will be at a 10.30 pace, and then the next one will be at a 9.50 pace. And I did an easy run on Wednesday, and I averaged 9.50, so <laughs> that was, like, easy for me. Actually, I think it was a bit harder than easy. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm excited to film a little bit of this. Daniel is working a half day today, and um, he was pretty tired yesterday, so we decided to bump our run to tomorrow. But I kind of wa want to watch his form and stuff and make sure that he is running properly so that he doesn't hurt himself. Because normally we're doing completely different things. And so I think I'm just going to run his run with him tomorrow. Because it's just like three minutes of running and like one minute of walking, I think. And he does that like five times. So it'll be a good um, mellow run for me. Can you hear the birds outside? Anyways, guys, I'm excited to film this vlog. I think I'm going to maybe put this all into one vlog or I might do like little updates of how my running training is going until the half marathon but yeah I'm pretty happy me and Daniel have been doing this for about two weeks now and that's pretty good given that we have to wake up at 5 30 in the morning anyways the temperature is slowly increasing so I should probably go I'm used to running at 
5 30 and i'm going right now at 8 30 so i'm gonna go put my shoes on put my other watch on get my headphones and then i'll film a bit of me running and i'll kind of give you an update about how it went afterwards i have another wedding to go to today so i've got that on the agenda as well <laughs> this is my running fit today i got this top at like Sierra, this sports bra is Adidas and I got it at like Sierra as well. And these shorts I got on Amazon and I'm not sure how much I love them. <laughs> Actually, they're super cute, but they're very, I don't know, I think they might cause me to chafe. But this is my outfit. I'm going to put on my Nike free runners and then my watch. I've been putting my hair in um, ponytails, high ponytails. That's how I always used to run. But man, does my hair get knotted. So I tried a... Uh, I tried a braid, but my hair has too many layers. Wow, that lighting shift. Tried a braid, but my hair has too many layers and it's too short for a braid. And so that just fell out and it still got knotted. So currently my hair is in a bun. We'll see if it even stays, but yeah, the knots are insane when I run with a high ponytail. And I don't love having a low ponytail because then it's just like swishing around on my back and I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> Excuse our towels in the corner. <laughs> but I'm currently putting on my shoes. So these are what I'm running in. I've had them for a while, and I know you're only supposed to put a certain amount of mileage on your shoes. Um, I can't really afford to buy new shoes right now, so we will probably just wear these and trade in them. I don't think I've put enough mileage, enough mileage on them yet, and I haven't been having any issues with my feet. So I really like these. Uh, these are the Nike free runners, I think, maybe. They don't have the name on them anymore, but I had these back in high school in black and I really loved them. And when I was on my mission, I got a new pair. Um, I had these pink ones like waiting for me because I took my black ones on my mission, so over to Europe and yeah. So I took those, I left those over in Europe and I had some new pink ones waiting for me, <laughs> so. Uh, I will admit it's easier to go running when I know that Daniel's going to come with me, <laughs> but I need to start just, I don't know, I've been looking forward to this run all week and I still really want to do it, so we're going to do it. I have been running fasting and because I wake up so early, we don't wake up in enough time to like eat anything before, um, so I really need to look into what I can eat like before a run that won't upset my stomach because I don't even know if you can eat anything 30 minutes before a run and it not upset your stomach. But I know once I start getting into my longer runs, like on Monday I'm running six miles and I don't want to do that fasted because I'm just gonna be so dead. But I don't know, I have heard a lot of good things about running fasted, but I'm just like, I maybe I just make sure I eat enough the night before, but I don't know. I don't like running without any energy. I also need to learn how to fuel during a run. That's something I never really taught myself how to do. Um, I'm not quite in my training yet to where I need to be fueling while I'm running, but once I start hitting over 90 minute um, races or runs, I'm going to have to start fueling. So I think I'm going to do Sour Patch Kids. Easy sugar is good for runners to like process. It's easy for the stomach to process and just to burn away. Bananas I've heard are really good and applesauce packets are really good. So I might do that. Uh, nothing too heavy. Something that's kind of full of carbs and easy to process. Oh, I'm gonna wait to put that in. Anyways, we're gonna head out. Um, I'll get some footage. I'm not sure if I can record with my headphones in if you'll catch the audio. So that might be a little frustrating as I'm trying to run and film, but we will see. Anyways, I we're gonna head out now. I've got my watch going. I've got this one for the time. <laughs> got my shoes on and we're good, so. Okay, I'm walking over to the park that I normally run at right now. I am supposed to start my period today so I could start cramping like none other, but let's <laughs> hope that that doesn't happen. Um, yeah, runner also has certain running playlists for each type of workout so because i'm doing a interval workout it's got like some upbeat music so i'm excited for that <laughs> but because i am running by myself today i've got my my mace 
this is a pretty well-known, not well-known, but it's a pretty open park, so I feel very safe here. Um, I thought it would just be easier to calculate mileage and have it all be consistent if I was running the same course, so that's what we're doing right now. Okay, I'm gonna start it off. Okay, I just finished my first point six. Um, I'm not supposed to take a walking break, but I'm cramping like so bad. But my pre-period cramps are funny because I just have to stop, let them ride out their course, and then they'll be gone for the rest of my run. So that's currently what I'm doing. I am in a lot of pain right now, but I did just run that at a, um, I don't know what the pace is. I think it, I did just run that at a fast pace. I think it was, I'm not sure, let me check. It's not gonna tell me, I think it was faster than the fastest I'm supposed to run today. Um, it didn't feel super easy, but I think I'm gonna try to just up my pace from there just so that I'm actually pushing myself and not just doing an easy run today. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna let these cramps die out because they are very painful. And just remember, it's okay to stop in your run if you need to. Like, I could push through this, but it would hurt so bad. Okay, so I, those got so bad, I literally had to speed walk home and go to the bathroom. <laughs> So that was not pleasant. I was really, really scared that I had started and like if I start my period and I don't catch my cramps before they get that bad, I would have been in so much pain for hours. So thankfully I did not start. They have mellowed out, but I was really scared for a second. Like it hurts so bad, but I'm back here and I'm going to finish. I've got two more of those laps. So two, two more 0.6 miles at, um, I don't know. Just gonna push it a little bit harder each time and see if I run faster. And then I have a cool down at that distance, but I'll just do that at a slow pace. So, going to start again. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I didn't just like back out of it. Normally I would be like, okay, I'm already home, I'm done. But it's okay. We're here now and we're just gonna finish it. There's not much more to do, so we got this. Okay, I just did that one at 8.45. Actually, I think it was an 8.20 for most of the way. Um, I'm taking little breaks in between just so that I can record it. But yeah, it was a little tough. But it honestly felt easier than my first one. And it's probably because I warmed up. So, we're gonna do one more, then we're gonna cool down, and I'm done. <laughs> Last lap. Okay. I finished my last one. My average pace for the most was a 9.25. Um, that one was hard. It hurt. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a breather now and then I'm gonna go run my, run walk my cool down, but I'm surprised that that one was so painful. I'll have to do the math and see what my overall time was because it's not mile splits. Um, We'll have to see how my watch calculates it because I put it in his laps, which I've never done before. So we'll see if it breaks it down how I'm wanting it to. But yeah, I'm just gonna walk, run, walk, and then I'll be done. But I finished, that's all that matters and I'm proud of myself, it was a workout. I think I just pushed it way too hard on that last one. Um, the eight twenty minute, but it honestly felt really easy. So I'm surprised that it hurt that bad. It could be all the walking as well to like get video and footage and stuff, but I did it and I'll see you guys when I get back. So something that I've struggled with since losing my mom is like talking to her or feeling close to her. Um, I've really found, because running was mine and her thing, her and my, I don't know how to say it, but we ran all the time together and I really miss it, to be honest. I didn't always love when she woke me up early in the morning to go running, but I will admit running is the one place that I feel really close to her. Um, and so after these runs, usually when I'm by myself, because Daniel usually finishes before me, I will just do my cool down walk and I will just talk to my mom and tell her about my run. And surprisingly, it has been very comfortable and easy 
I mean, I'll get sad and I'll just like tell her, all right, I'm getting sad, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now, but it's definitely something that I've been doing and I think it's been very therapeutic for me. So that's been nice, but yeah, I thought I'd throw that in there. That's what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, so I just looked at my stats and wearing my Samsung watch was actually pretty helpful. It had um, on the running, I don't know, it recorded a lot of stuff I haven't even thought about. Like it told me that my foot contact to the ground was too long. So I need to like hit the ground faster and move my feet quicker. It also was telling me that like I am a bit vertical. I think I bounce too much when I run. And I think this could be, could be because I'm trying purposely to run slow. But I watched a video on like how to correct it and like if I can just get that bounce to go into like a forward mo motion that it will help me a lot and like bouncing like this in long distance is going to be very tiring when I could be going like that. Um, and then it's, I also didn't have very good stiffness so I think what that means is that like my body just moved a lot when I run instead of just being firm and strong. So with my body just kind of moving all around I wasn't as firm and my I couldn't put that energy into going forward so that was very interesting I had never even thought of those things I didn't even know that those were things that you could have to work on so but I did have a lot of good like I don't remember all the other things but three of them I was like great in and good in so that was good I think it was like making sure that I'm not just shooting up in pace and going down in pace over and over again I'm pretty steady but anyways, so the paces that I did, I will put them up on the screen. I'll show you my split times, but my first one was an 8.45, no, an 8.20, I think. Um, it'll be right here if I'm wrong. I think my first one was an 8.20, that's what I remember when I was running, and then my second one was an 8.45, and then my last one was like a 9.36. So between the time, between the two, the two second ones, I was 16 seconds slower on my last one. Um, but yeah, that's what I did, and now I'm going to eat something and probably end this vlog right here, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I don't know if this will be a usual thing for me to just record my workouts or if I should, like, record my days, but to be honest, I have two videos worth of footage on my phone and I'm kind of running out of storage, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know if you want me to, like, film my whole day after running. Normally I'll go to work and then I'll come home and do nothing, <laughs> or or whatnot, but I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!